everybody and welcome back to a brand new video where we are just three days away from the finale of series 12 the timeless children and so i think it's an appropriate time to have what is possibly a slightly wacky um theory video on just who the character brendan might be and who we might and what we might see from the finale of series 12. So yes of course we know we've got the timeless children to look forward to this coming sunday to conclude to conclude series 12 and the many story arcs around the timeless child around the ruth doctor probably around the destruction of gallifrey lots of many different things that are going to be explored in this episode and one of the weird things that was actually introduced in the previous episode ascension of the cybermen was this this character brendan um in what seemed to be these rather disconnected and bizarre sort of flash seemingly flashbacks or scenes set in what looked like maybe the 1920s 1930s ireland something along those lines um, where we followed this character through, well, from when he was discovered on a street as a baby, um, to being taken on, being adopted, grown up, join the police, get shot and dies, and then comes back to life, and then gets old, and then gets taken away by his dad and his police sergeant, who haven't aged at all, um, and gets taken away and seemingly has his mind wiped in some very painful activity. Um, it was all quite bizarre watching the episode because, at least for the first time for me, certainly, because it doesn't have any connection, at least at the moment, to the main story, the rest of any story that we saw in the first part. But yeah, I'm sure it's going to come into play in the second episode. So what could, who could Brendan be? What could this all be about? Well, as you can guess from the title of the video, the main theory I want to go down the route of is the possibility, I'm not going to say it's a guarantee, but I feel like the signs are there that possibly Brendan could turn out to be the Doctor. Now firstly this theory to an extent relies on the potential idea that we're going to see in um, the finale the doc if we find out that the Doctor was the timeless child in the first place and that there was some sort of previous set of either regenerations or just versions of the Doctor that happened before the William Hartnell Doctor. Um, whether it is that actually the Doctor was originally not a Time Lord maybe and was from another distant planet um, and could, I don't know, regenerate as many times it liked or change its face as many times as they liked. Um, and maybe at one point this person was this Brendan character that we meet in, in Essential of the Cybermen. I think that's kind of what needs to be laid as the groundwork first for my theory to actually make any sense. Um, Obviously on the surface of it, you watch those scenes, there's no like striking things that go, wow, he's definitely gonna be the Doctor. But there's a few subtle clues in there, I think that we can kind of um, reading lots into it, maybe think and try and predict that maybe he is the Doctor. So yes, among the little clues, I think one of them is the fact he joins the um, police. He joins the Irish police, I know they're called the Garda, but he essentially joins the police. And given that the Doctor travels around in a police telephone box, I don't know, it just feels like there's a little sort of signal there and when asked by the police sergeant what he wants to he wants to do, I think his dad says he will, he wants to serve or something. Actually, he says, and um, Brendan says that he wants to make a difference, which sounds much more like the sort of thing the doctor would say than than um, what his dad was trying to get him to say. Essentially, rather than saying no, I want to come and um, shoot people or stop crime, it was he he once said I want to make a difference. And I don't know, just that just in that little moment that felt like a very doctory line. I think um, that we heard from him. There's also the kind the the fact that he's ginger. Um, this is. I guess a little bit more of a stretch, possibly, but we've obviously heard in many, of, uh, several of the previous incarnations described, it's sort of commenting on the fact when they first regenerate that they're not ginger and they're disappointed about that fact. Could it be subconsciously, um, they never knew it, they, they only subconsciously knew it, but they were originally ginger. Was Is this the original first Doctor who actually was ginger? And that's why they've always wanted to be ginger again because they wanted to be like the original. I don't know, I feel like it's a bit of retcon that could actually work within the kind of context of the show. Like it doesn't, it's not that much of a stretch to kind of just tweak things a little bit like that. I feel like that works. So yeah, it, it's a tiny thing and it can completely be ignored, but you never know. I feel like the scenes in that episode were, were very carefully crafted to kind of not give anything away but also just slot in a few tiny hints um, of what may happen or what this may all be about I think. The I guess slightly more noticeable thing was that when he retired he was given a big clock which is in a similar vein to the kind of fob watch that we've seen in the past given to doctors like the Ruth Doctor and the Tenth Doctor and um, the Master back in series three um, and then we see um, Brendan getting some sort of device that looks very similar to the Chameleon Arch that we saw, well, with the, with the, as I say, with the Ruth Doctor and back in series three. Um, we, we see that get put on his head and they talk about wiping his mind and, and all of that. And so I just feel like those two little things there, they're just kind of slight hints that it's at least Time Lord related, even if he doesn't turn out to be the Doctor. But I feel like there's some sort of connection to the Time Lords and Gallifrey there in some form. Other subtle clues, when he goes into the um, back room at the end of the episode where he gets his mind wiped, if you watch 
watch carefully. I'll try and put it actually a shot up on screen, but the doors as they walk through, they for me, they just look exceedingly similar to the sort of shape and the window size of the TARDIS doors. It's, although obviously the colouring is completely different, it, it just feels like quite a subtle kind of just look of it that's quite similar to me. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if, you, if I'm just seeing things. Or I, feel, I just feel like when I saw that first time straight away, I was like, hmm, that kind of looks a little bit like TARDIS doors to an extent. Um, so then again, another just a little hint of maybe it could be. Certainly it's clear there's some very odd things going on given the fact that he dies and then comes back to life. I think that's where my theory struggles a little bit more and as I say it doesn't it would only really fit with an idea that the Doctor wasn't originally a Time Lord and that the Doctor was some other person from another world and another race beforehand and before they became the Doctor properly um, as it were. So I feel like that's the only way you can really explain this kind of immortal being type of thing or it's some sort of defence mechanism if they're using the Chameleon Arch there's some sort of defence mechanism where it can bring them back to life if they get killed or, or sort of um, critically wounded or something like that I guess that's also a possibility of a possible way of explaining it maybe. And the other reason of course there's clearly some shenanigans going on is because we have this, this his dad and the police sergeant not getting any older in at least what seems like 50 years of past um, it doesn't seem like they have got any older either. The, the uh, Brendan himself is aging at a rapid rate, which doesn't seem impossible given the way the sort of shots were cut. It very, very quickly jumped through his whole lifetime. I guess maybe that was just the effect they wanted to, do, to use to be able to very quickly go from his birth to his retirement. Um, or it could be that actually from his in his world, in that world, actually he hasn't aged all that much. I don't know. Or it hasn't been that much time that's passed. Maybe that's a possible explanation as well. One other just subtle thing that connects it to Gallifrey is almost an in-joke that we've seen in Doctor Who many, many a time. When often when random human characters ask um, where Gallifrey is and they often say, oh, is it in Ireland? Um, oh, is that is that an island? Is it is that Gallifrey? Is Gallifrey an island? Like, I think it happens about three or four times in TV episodes, that sort of reference. Um, and obviously the Doctor just jokes about it, oh yeah, oh yeah, probably, probably, yeah, it's probably an island. Um, the fact then, therefore, that then we're using islands as the setting for these weird, sort of mysterious, unconnected scenes, I guess it may just be picking up on that jokey line that actually, um, to kind of just give us fans a little hint at what it could be, that actually that's why it's all set in Ireland. Um, I'm, I'm sure it's obviously not that Gallifrey is actually an island, it's just a joke, but I feel like maybe that's where this is coming from, but I honestly struggle to know much more from that, I think. Certainly I'm sure that things will be very well explained, or very thoroughly explained, and everything will become clear why we've seen that um, part of the story um, in the previous episode when it feels so disconnected from everything else that's going on with the Cybermen and the Doctor and the fam and everything like that. Um, it would be quite crazy if we'd kind of always un unwittingly ex experience the origins of the Doctor, the first ever incarnation of the Doctor going from birth to um, mind wipe or something. Um, that would be quite something, I think. But um, yeah, it'll certainly be interesting to find out if that is the case or not. Of course, there's so much more that could happen in the finale. Will the Ruth Doctor come back and how will she be involved with things? Is it going to turn out that the Ruth Doctor is the timeless child or is it Brendan's the timeless child? or because it's called the Timeless Children, there's multiple people who are timeless children, there's more, more than one of them, or is it just multiple incarnations of the Doctor? I don't know. There's so many possible explanations, I think, that I'm really so, so excited to find out what's going to happen in this episode. Certainly, I think it's going to be quite a bold and potentially risky episode where they are potentially changing pretty major parts of the lore or the canon of the show. Um, so I have a sense it might be quite divisive and controversial, an episode, but overall I feel more excited than I have for a finale for a very long time. Just as always, guys, I want to hear your thoughts, your thoughts, theories let me know down in the comments below is Brendan the Doctor is Brendan the Master is Brendan just a random character is he completely connected to the Timeless Child I'd love to hear what your theories are for anything to do with the series 12 finale down in the comments below but apart from that guys I hope you have enjoyed this video I'll be getting a very soon another one as always so do remember to hit that like button that subscribe button if you're new here and I'll see you again very soon another one goodbye